Hey everyone, it's Mike here again from Tiger Studios, and uh, I've been playing a bit of farming simulator lately, and that's why I haven't been doing no other videos like Minecraft and such. But uh, I decided I'm going to do a little intro to this game. As you can see, uh, this is a brand new game. I just started here in front of my house. Uh, you get these little question marks around that give you little tips when you first start. So tells you what you can do, but I'm just going to kind of rush to the basics of farming in this game for anyone who has it and is not sure. Uh, so we start off with our basic farm. We got some equipment and stuff in here and I'm going to show you what you start off with. Over there you see our harvester setting up. It's, it's set up and ready to go or if we get a field of wheat when we first start to begin with. So we got our basic farm area and this is the equipment they start you with. We got our tractors, we got a plow, a uh, cultivator for mixing the field up after we're done farming it. We've got our sower, which is for planting seed after we cultivate, of course. And we got some tractors. We got the old tractor from the 1940s, 1950s here. We got, uh, this is my favorite tractor. I like this one here. It's more uh, modern, I suppose. And we got this one here. This is the one I use for more powerful things, lugging around heavier stuff. But to begin with, we are going to need to go harvest that field and I'm gonna do a series of videos and show you a bit more of what's around here these here are weights these are basically used because sometimes when you're hauling something in a tractor say for example I'll back up here and so you gotta back up and line the hitch up here and you see that icon and then you can attach but now watch this. If I go forward and then stop, let's just see if I go real fast forward. Oh, well, anyway, this isn't heavy enough. But there are things that are heavy enough, and you do need weights for. So I always just put a weight on the. Yeah, there's kind of not turn right away. It's because the front wheels aren't getting that much contact to the ground. So what I need is to get that weight. Actually, in fact, I don't need this cultivator at all right now. I'm just going to drop it. Um, what I do need is something called a tipper. A tipper is basically a trailer. You see it right there. And that's where you put your stuff in your wheat, your barley, your uh, wheat, barley, canola. And back up here. There we go. All right. Now let's go to the field. So we take our tipper. And we're going to head out to our field. Now this game can be repetitive, um, you know, some people might think it's boring, but it's kind of a relaxing kind of game, you kind of sit back and chill and play this game for a bit. So I'm going to get out of my tractor, and like this is wheat, and it's ready to go. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of a, it's a simulator, so if you like simulator games, uh, this is actually kind of good, and it's getting a lot of positive reviews. The so first thing we're going to do is pick up our cutter. And that goes up like that. And you see up in the top left, it gives you information on what keys you need to push to do what. So I'm just going to go ahead and push B. We're going to start cutting. And here's where the very exciting harvesting part begins. Now, you don't want to go too fast. If you go too fast, then you're going to skip this stuff. Some things like wheat and barley, they spit out straw in the back. That's just a byproduct. And you can go ahead and pick that up later on with a forager, or you can turn that into hay bales if you want. I haven't got that far in my own game yet, but uh, I'm going to. So this is basically harvesting. You go around and you harvest the farm. You can, you know, do what some people might want to do is do all nice neat rows and. You know, but then you get to back this thing up and you to turn it around. That's a big pain. So I'll show you what I like to do. At the end of a row, I just kind of turn and just you know skip to the next row. So I'm going to harvest this field. Ah, look at that. I'm missing stuff. So when you miss stuff, it's no good to get back up. It's slow. But you can upgrade all this equipment. You can buy new harvesters and you can buy new tractors and, and tippers. You can buy some nice stuff in this game and uh, really expand. There's an entire map worth of fields here. 
So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking and carry on harvesting this field, and then I'll show you the next stages. Okay, so I want to show you this. I'm just kind of harvesting the field off camera. But you see in the bottom right where it says there the number 140 there, 1500. I'm full now, so what I've got to do, I've got to drive back over to this tipper. And this is this is where the tippers come in. Go over it like this and press my O and it extends the arm and it's basically gonna fill that tipper. Now don't worry about losing stuff because like if you miss it, say you're not on top of it, it actually stops. You won't lose your materials. Now that's with this tractor or this harvester, not a harvester I've used. I don't know about other equipment, but I do know that this one here you won't lose your material. So this is just gonna fill this up and uh, yeah, so I'm going to carry on doing this off camera, get this done, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've got my field done here as you can tell. It's all harvested and it's got all kinds of straw all over the place. I'm not going to worry about straw right now because at this point I don't have any way to pick it up. So I'm just going to empty my harvester here and I'm going to show you where this stuff goes. We're given four silos to begin with and two places for potatoes and sugar beets. That's where you store your equipment. So what I'm going to do... Oh, oh geez, I'm writing the tip. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to bring back the uh, materials here. The flour. The wheat. I'm going to show you where this goes, and then we're going to cultivate the field. Cultivating the field is the next step. It's basically churning up all, this, all the dirt, all the soil, and preparing it for our next um, seeding. So, as you can see in the distance there, uh, see in the distance there's a silos, and there's two spot for potatoes and sugar beets. Um, yeah, to our left there, the chicken coop. So what you do when you want to empty this, you drive over this. And, let's see, there you bring it on to the point here, and it says I'll load up there. Now I'm just going to third person to see what happens here. So this tipper unloads sideways and just, just dump it all out. So for this introductory video, I'm not going to get into the details of, you know, what to do with all this stuff. But basically, you, know, you just sell it. You sell your materials. But uh, this tutorial video or introductory video is just going to be with your field. I'm going to show you how to cultivate and show you how to seed. And then basically that'll be it. I will make more videos. I'll show you all this stuff in the farm, the different places here. And uh, that should be my second video. So I'm going to leave that there. I need to cultivate, which is this blue thing that I first picked up. So I'm going to back into this and pick that up. And you notice how it rises up on its own. And I got controls on the top to lower it. Um, so let's go cultivate that field. And as you can see, this will mix it up pretty good. It's got a lot of gears and wheels and everything there. Alright, this here is, um, yeah, this here just comes up every now and then. These are missions, and you can accept or deny them. You need a front loader with a pallet fork, and I don't have that at this point. It's a brand new game, so I'm going to deny these. But these things come up, and you can do them. They're like little mini quests. Um, you need extra money and stuff out of it. So for the cultivator, we basically line ourselves up, and then I'm going to press V to lower and basically everything I drive over will be churned up. You'll see nice clean soil behind me. Now the first cultivator you get is only 3 meters wide. So it, it's going to take a little while. You gotta go, you can't go too fast. I'll show you how. If you go too fast, it basically just fall off. There, it just fell off. So and That's no good. You don't want that. I'll back up. So this here, because I didn't pick up the straw, this will just kind of mix it all in the ground and it'll be used. Well, it just kind of disappeared, but really it's like used to help fertilize the ground, right? So I just come out, I spin myself around, and do this row by row. Don't worry so much about being perfect, uh, it's not overly important. But uh, you can get better equipment to do this a lot easier later on. So anyway, as before, I'm just going to go ahead and clean this field. And then I uh, will carry on with the video. You guys don't know what's important stuff, so I'll be back. 
All right, everyone. So as you can see, I cultivated the field, and um, yeah, it's a little slow with this cultivator. So you're gonna want to upgrade that at some point. But um, that's not for now. Right now, we don't have very much money. We need to start establishing ourselves. So the next step is basically the seeding stage. So let's put this cultivator away. I like to make sure it's all nice. Ah, another one of these things. Anyway. I always just put my stuff away in these sheds, just for organizing, do a kind of role play thing, make sure everything's all put away properly. Cool. There we go. So I just dropped that there. Now, what I want to do now is seed. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to switch tractors for this. This little old tractor is a little slower, and you got to be slow when you're seeding. That right there is a seeder. So, top on the... Kramer KL200. Oh, good. Okay, start there. Alright, let's back up into the cedar. There we go. Now, see on the top left, it says you first need to fill the implement. And down the bottom right, above how many liters of gas I have, 23 liters of gas, you see that the next number is zero. It means there's no seeds in this, so I gotta go over to a seed pallet, which is right over here by this building. And you'll see one of those tool tips or one of those uh, game tips here. I'm just gonna pop up my bed a little bit. Completely you refill your sewing machines. So you come up next to them like this, and now you see in the top left it says press R. So press R and it's filling and taking my money away. That's alright though. Okay, so now that's done, let's head to the field. You'll notice on the right side there's a little symbol there. That's a wheat symbol. Press O, switch. That's barley. That's canola. And that's grass. Remember that. Wheat, barley, canola, grass. So what we're going to do, I think we'll plant some canola. And I'm also going to show you another feature of this. Also, up the top left, you see where it says press PH to hire a worker. I'm going to use that feature here and show you the benefits of that. But uh, first I'll start myself. So you line yourself up. And I press a V to lower it. And... Oh, this one doesn't need to be turned on. Some of them need to be turned on. So basically I just start driving. And then you see how it's laying seed. Now, this one, I don't like it so much because it does miss little spots. But this could be pretty tedious. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hire a worker and you watch what happens. I'm just going to press H, and he's automatically driving it. There, I see the worker is doing that. So if you don't want to see, if you want to do something else, like say I want to park my harvester, I want to park it out of the way. I'm going to grab that, and the guy over there seeding is just going to carry on. He's going to turn around, he's going to do another row. Now it does cost money. Um, it costs more money based on the difficulty mode. I'm playing normal, so it's not so bad. But I'm just going to park this over here and um, show you a couple more things and then end this video. Uh, let's see here. That's fine. Alright, so while he's seating, I'm going to show you the map. So you press the escape key and it brings up this page. You can cycle through the pages like this. Now this is the whole world as far as you're concerned and we are right here on field 16. Uh, I don't know if you see my mouse pointer or not in this, but field 16 is right in the center there. Uh, so the next field we're probably going to buy is 15. This is our farm area right here, all this gray area uh, between 14 and 17. North of that this is a little village and there are certain selling points, there's places where you can actually go and sell your materials and I'm going to show you that in the next video. But this is a good I, this is a good page to know when your crops are ready because you see this growing, ready to harvest, uh, ready to harvest, remove tops. I don't know what that means yet. I think it might mean it's almost ready to go bad, and withered means bad. So as you can see, as he's field or so he's seeing that we got a little yellow strip on the number 16 there. That means as he's growing. So and you can also cycle through here fruit types. You can see what's planted where. So he's planting. 
canola, which is brown. You can't really see it too much. And the next one is our vehicle selection. And you see we've got some vehicles in different spots, our little tractors. And let's see here. Next page is your settings. Here you can increase time, so you don't actually have to wait real time for your crops to grow. You can speed that right up. And back here again. One way to get from tractor to tractor in this game is to press the tab key. Yeah, it will automatically switch you to different tractors. And even though this guy is seeding, I can still come on this tractor and see it. So this one, uh, harvester. Now uh, here's the other tractor. This is where the cows go when you buy cows. I'm going to show you that in a later video. Yeah, this is. This must be where the sheep go, I believe. Yeah, I think this is where the sheep go when you buy them. And here, this is the farm shop. There are seed pallets here. You can sell eggs from the chickens. So, it's not bad. There's a lot of stuff in this game. Uh, initially, it can look boring. It can look tedious. But I'm going to show you that uh, this game can be fun. And there's a lot of expansion possibilities. As well as this right here. Store. Where you can go buy front loaders. You can buy new harvesters. Different things for harvesting potatoes. Beets. Tippers for carrying stuff. These are the bigger ones. that carry more. And so on. So, Hopefully you guys like this video. Hopefully this helps. I know it's very basic, but uh, I meant it to be that way. And I want you guys to let me know what you think about this. Tell me if you want me to do more. Or tell me if you want me to show you how to, I don't know, mow a lawn in this game. Whatever. Just give me some feedback, guys. Let me know what you think. And I'll get another video out shortly. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Click on the links there if you support me. And um, like the video. Share it with your friends. And have a good day. Thanks for watching.